Okay, so today we are going to have a look at the wonderful mathematical opportunities that are available to children or should be available to children as part of Tidy Up Time. Um, there are lots of ways that you can organize your classroom provision, your resources, your materials in order to encourage mathematical thinking. Okay, so all sorts of things that we're going to have a quick look at. The first thing to have a, have a think about is how do you organize your materials? How do you label your materials? Over here, we've got some pencil pots and some crayon pots that would be available for children within the writing area, of course. By labeling them up with the numbers of resources that you have in each one, then at tidy up time, what we're encouraging children then to do is to make sure that the right number of resources then are back in that pot. So here we are talking about there being 10 colored pencils. So if we haven't got 10 colored pencils, at the end of tidy up time, how many are missing? How many have we got? How many do we need to look for? It's a great way of meaningfully encouraging children to use mathematical concepts, including counting and number recognition and so on, just as part of everyday practice. Of course, this doesn't replace the direct teaching that you'll do, but it's a great way of embedding certain skills and certain concepts. You can organize, also organize all kinds of other materials in ways that really get your children thinking and exploring too. So for example, in the blocks area, you might want to organize your materials on templates so that they're straight onto the shelf. So the blocks could, go, could be stored straight onto the shelf uh, on templates that uh, represent the shapes and how you organize those uh, materials will really get your children thinking. So for example, these two shapes, you could store them together as templates on the shelf so that we're encouraging the children to see those two separate shapes together that when they are put together, they make one complete shape. Okay, other things to consider in your sand areas or water areas where you have materials on a shelf, think carefully about the different sizes and different capacities. Is it possible to set things out um, in height order? or in order of capacity. So we're talking about going from small, then to medium, then to large, or different capacities or different heights and so on. Uh, just as a way of getting children to really think about different heights, sizes and capacities and so on. And of course, it means that at tidy up time, your adults will be supporting that conversation and discussion about what's needed and what's needed to go where. Other things you might want to think about. What about the construction area? The construction area with all sorts of different um, kits of construction potentially has all sorts of potential for mathematical thinking and conversations. But some of that comes down to how you store the resources. So for example, here we've got the Duplo. You could decide to store all of your Duplo by color. So you might say, actually, all of these yellow Duplo bricks all go in one box, and that's where the yellow bricks go. But I would say, I think by doing that, you are missing out on some mathematical opportunities. If instead they are stored by having perhaps each of the flat pieces together, so that if children are looking for a two by four flat piece, they know exactly where to look, then actually you're talking about being involved in the conversation and the discussion around what's needed. So they're not just thinking about the color, but thinking about the size and the numbers involved in those decisions, okay? So not, we would say children won't really usually build a model by just by color. They won't just look for yellow bricks or red bricks or blue bricks, but instead they'll be looking for the sizes of bricks that they need to finish or to complete their model. Therefore, think about the different types of bricks, the numbers involved in those different bricks, the two by two bricks or the four by two bricks and so on. Think about the sizes that are involved there as a way of encouraging mathematical discussion. Okay, so have a think across your provision. At tidy up time, is that time being used effectively to really make sure that we are encouraging children to use mathematical language, make mathematical decisions, to match shapes, and objects to use uh, language including uh, different heights, sizes, capacities, and number as well, and to use the skills of counting. Have a look, see how you get on. Uh, I hope you found this useful.